In this section, we will look at photosynthesis and human nutrition. Within plant cells, chloroplasts carry out a process known as photosynthesis. So what exactly is photosynthesis? Photosynthesis is a process carried out by plants that converts carbon dioxide into organic compounds such as sugar using energy from the sunlight. It is a process that is vital to us to ensure that our atmosphere here on Earth is oxygenated. So, here is the photosynthesis equation. Remember, photosynthesis can only take place in suitable conditions, for example, where there is sufficient light and temperature. To detect whether a plant has been photosynthesizing, test for starch in a leaf. This can be achieved by dipping the leaf in boiling water, then boiling the leaf in ethanol in an electric water bath to remove the cuticle and chlorophyll. Then dip the leaf in hot water to rehydrate. Finally, put the leaf in an iodine solution. If the leaf goes a blue or black colour, then it has starch in it. Now, let's look at human nutrition. Enzymes are one of the essential elements in the human body. Without them, your body would not be able to function properly. They're responsible for constructing, synthesising, carrying, dispensing, delivery and eliminating many ingredients and chemicals our body uses in daily living. So how do enzymes digest food? In the saliva of a human mouth contains an enzyme called amylase. This begins the breakdown of starch into sugar. Gastric juices in the stomach contain an enzyme called pepsin. Pepsin breaks down proteins into what is known as amino acids. Pepsin needs acids to work effectively. Pancreatic juice then produces more carbohydrates, proteases and lipases, which break down fats and oils into fatty acid and glycerol. The liver makes bile, which neutralises the stomach acid and allows the enzymes in the small intestine to work. So how do enzymes actually work? All enzymes have an active site. A substrate molecule binds to the active site, forming what is known as an enzyme substrate complex. The substrate is then broken down into smaller molecules. All enzymes are specific, only breaking down certain substrate molecules. Once the substrate has been broken down, then the enzyme is ready for use again. Enzymes operate most effectively at 37 degrees Celsius. Below this temperature, the rate of reaction begins to slow down, and at very low temperatures, the enzymes become inactive. Similarly, above 37 degrees Celsius, the enzymes become inactive. At optimum pH, the rate of reaction is best. Below the optimum pH, the rate of reaction is slower. Right, time for a quick quiz.